let's begin by discussing the project structure so on the left side of android studio is where your project is displayed as you can see this project is displayed in a manner that is different from your disk what you see here is the gradle script and the app this everything above the gradle script is where the files are located so if i open this one this is a module one module it contains manifest file it contains java file or source code and this one contains less file or none code files so let's open manifest file and see what is inside so within the manifest folder we get manifest file which uh, we get usually within the manifest file this is where we declare permissions this is where we declare our services and everything uh, concerning services permissions receivers all of them are declared here and i believe in the next couple of episodes we are going to discuss this one into details then the java folder once you open it you'll get the package name of your application when you open it further you get the source file this source file as you can see here we have main activity which is in kotlin once you open it this one called the main window turns into code editor where you can start writing your code then we have less folder which contains non code files so once you open it you'll get a drawable folder you get a layout folder you get mimi map and even varies within the drawable folder it's where we place all our images all assets within the layout this is where we place our xml files that helps us build the interface of an application when i open it as you can see in our main window it changes into a layout editor then we have mimi type and finally this is where also we store things like launcher images icons and then we have values within the values we have colors we have strings and we have themes as you can see if i cross this one we have gradle scripts this is where we put our dependencies for example when you're building application sometimes you need dependencies for a constraint layout with secure view all of them are added within the uh, level or up level build so here is where you declare all your dependencies this one is a uh, build gradle for the whole application so here we are going to interact with this file within uh, this course because you are going to build some applications that will require us to add external libraries or dependencies let us now discuss the main areas of an android studio to begin with here we have a toolbar this toolbar contain a set of tools that are very important in our development within these tools we have tools that we use to learn our project like this one to debug our project and even to commit project to our repositories here is also where we, we are able to create emulators and learn emulators all these tools we are going to use them in our series of this training and then here we have navigation bar navigation bar shows our project file in a horizontal way for example we have hello world app source main and also allows you to open file for editing for example if i click hello world it gives me a list of files that are found in this folder and then i can click it and it's going to open for modification or editing then this section that is here outside the ide it's known as tool window bar this one allows us to minimize or expand some windows for example if i don't want to see this one or i need to extend this code editor window I just need to click and then it's going to minimize and then i click it again and it's going to expand same as commit same as resource manager so i like having project is expanded then we have this section here it's called 
code editor widow. So it displays the code for editing depending on the file that is open. For example, if I open a Kotlin or a Java file like this, it's going to open up and display the code for editing or even adding new code. If I open an uncode file, for example, a layout file like this one, it's going to change and display something different. In this case, if I open a layout file, it's going to open a layout editor or turn into a layout editor. Here, I can be able to edit my application interface. I can be able to drag buttons, image view, or anything that I want to display in my application. And then we have status bar here. It displays the state of the Android Studio and the project itself. For example, if I learn this project, I will be able to see build learning here. And even if I have errors, it's going to display those errors. So that's all we need to understand for the main structure of Android Studio.